What's up guys, Adrian Amaral here with 91 Gadgets. Today, I turn to the dark side. I am the father. Welcome to another video guys, um, as a lot of you guys may know, I am an Android user by heart and I've been with Android for most of my life. I have two phones, I have my personal and my shop phone. I'm going to keep my shop phone Android with a Galaxy Z Flip and I'm going to take my personal phone, my personal SIM card and put it into this iPhone 13 Pro. I've been eyeing this for a little while, a couple couple months already. I just love the way it looked at the store, you know. I went to the T-Mobile store and then I just saw it there, the gold one. I'm like, man, that looks really nice. I want it, you know, mm. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll get it one day. And then, well, again, I'm like, I think I saw it again or something, or a customer brought a phone and I'm like, dude, this is such a nice phone. Well, this is what I use right now um, for personal. Okay, I've been using this S10 for a while and it's cracked and everything, whatever, I don't really care. I mean, if I drop it, that's fine. I Most, most of my phones are like that, you know, they're cracked. So then, I'm trying to convince myself to get this iPhone right here and I almost um, I was going for the 12 Pro uh, because it looks the same so I did some reviews I saw that the 12 Pro and the 13 Pro are similar the gold ones are similar because I wanted the gold one and then um, I go to the T-Mobile website I go on offer up I can't find it uh, for a good deal and so I, then I go to the T-Mobile website and I see that they're uh, you know 999 or whatever I noticed that the 12 Pro was the same price as the 13 Pro, and the difference was the 12 Pro, they didn't have it in 128 gig um, when I was looking on the website. So I said, you know what, might as well just get the 13 Pro. So I started reading up on it and doing some reviews, and I saw that this is a little bit darker gold as well. So like, it's just, it was a no-brainer to just get the 13 Pro. And uh, so here it is. Um, I already kind of cheated. I opened it a little bit. But other than that, um, I've got some. Um, I've got a screen protector that I'm going to install on it, and I'm not going to put a case on this one. The whole point of this phone is because I love the way it looks. What I'm going to put is this here. I had a little bit of issues cutting this with my machine, but that's fine. This goes on the back here. All right. So at least it kind of covers that. Um, I can cut out some stuff that goes around the the frame, but I'm not going to do that. Um, again, I just want that true gold color around there and well if i break it i'll just fix it another thing that that made me get this you know i was like ah, should i get it should i not and i was already gonna get it but then i just thought i remembered i'm like okay we're launching an app here pretty soon and it's gonna be for ios and android so guess what i'm gonna need to be testing stuff you know what i mean so that was just that just sealed the deal for me testing the app with an iOS device and that's when I said you know what let me go get this so uh, again I, I couldn't find any uh, on offer up or anywhere else so I ended up picking this up at the store and um, here it is guys let's uh, check it out alright so we're not gonna do too much on this we're just, just gonna open it real quick and uh, we're gonna install the screen protector and that back protector as well so here we go normally you would just go like Tear that off and then tear this off as well. Okay. And let's reveal it and there you go. Beautiful. I'm also gonna buy something um, that goes on here. It's like a camera protector. So I'm definitely gonna get that. It comes with your fast charging cable. It's USB-C to lightning. Mm, nothing special, so that's that. And uh, here it is. Here's for the cameras. Beautiful. I wish I had that protector already. I'll just clean them up. But there's that. And then here's this. Woo! I feel like the Willy Wonka movie, the golden ticket. It's like a golden chocolate bar here. Okay, so this is sticky for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why it's sticky, but it's okay. All right, let's turn it on. Let's install the screen protector real quick. Now that it's super clean, I should have done that since I, as soon as I took it off. Here 
There's this. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so there's that. Hope I didn't get too much too much lint on it. So here's a screen protector. And cool. I didn't get much uh many particles in there, so that's good. And again, I'm not going to put a case on this. I'm just going to use it like this. Who cares if it gets scratched or whatever. Okay, now let's install this back film. This is like a horrible job here, but like like I said, you won't be able to really tell. All right, we gotta peel it. We have to peel this here. Go like this. And this is a shiny version because there's also matte that you can cut out. See how many bubbles we actually left on here. All right, so let's start peeling this. It actually looks pretty cool, guys, but. There is some bubbles. I wonder if there's like a film on here. I don't think so. So there it is. Shiny all around. Okay. Screen protector up here. And compared to what I had before. Let's see. So. I didn't want the max, I wanted to keep the same kind of size. So there it is. I'm not gonna put any, like I said, any, any uh, case on it. Well guys, that concludes this video. Psych a lot! All right guys, so it's been about one week. Actually, tonight will be exactly one week that I've been using the iPhone 13 Pro and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience with it not only with the 13 Pro but with iPhone in a whole all right so as I mentioned to you guys I didn't put a case on it what I did remove was that little film in the back it was peeling off I'm not sure if it's because of this top part over here but I just decided to remove it I kind of liked that it looked shiny so I may just put another one on there and just do a different cutout. So um, I wanted to show you guys what my phone looked like. Here, let me give it a little cleaning. I wanted to show you what it looked like after me using it without a case, all right? So as you guys can see, it, it still looks really good. It looks pretty new. Just a little bit of uh, smudges here and there. If you see, I can clean this up real good and it looks like new. See that? But other than that, I've dropped it once and it fell out of my shirt pocket. I was sitting down and I reached over to get, get something from the floor and it fell right to the floor on tile. And fortunately, nothing really happened to it. Like as far as the frame, I can see the screen protector broke and I didn't change it so that I can show you guys but yeah, see, you can see the screen protector is cracked right there. So, other than that, the frame, nothing happened to the frame. I'm surprised. It must have landed like this and nothing happened to the frame. So, I haven't really used the camera much, guys. I'm not, I'm not much of a camera guy unless I'm using my DSLR. Then I, I really focus on my lenses and all that stuff. But uh, other than that, I mean, 
I really feel good using this phone. Like even just looking at the screen, I, I'm, I find myself just wanting to look at it. I don't know if it's that 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, but yeah, so I really like the feel of it. I'm yet to put a little protector for the cameras. I should be getting that in today. It's a little glass protector that goes over it, similar to this, but it's, I think, I believe it's all glass. This is for a 11 Pro. Um, so I'm gonna put that on there because when I place the phone down on, on tables and stuff, I do get a little bit scared of, of scratching the lenses here. Um, but again, uh, there's no scratches yet, surprisingly. It's, uh, it's pretty durable. I was reading that the 12 Pros and, and up They've made them with this like very durable casing and screens and scratch proof and stuff like that. I, I really feel nice holding this phone and just just using it, you know? I it just, man, it, it feels really, really nice. That's the reason why I bought it, guys, actually. And I was reading, again, that that the 13 Pros uh, really made a lot of profit for Apple. So um, there's no wonder. I mean, look, everybody pretty much likes it just the style of it now it's comparing it to an se like an older one and it's crazy the, the body style is the same it's amazing how i think like eight years later now uh, the 5s you know and and well obviously the se came out a little bit later than those but it's the same body um people are still using these i mean the, this model right minus the cameras the cameras are obviously a big difference but as far as the casing goes it's uh, similar to that of the uh, the 5, the 5S, and the SE. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the the stuff I miss from Android. I almost gave up on the phone, I'm not gonna lie. I was having a hard time starting to use it. So I was just carrying it around without a SIM card and just using it off of Wi-Fi, trying to get all my apps organized the way that I use on my Android. This wasn't my personal, this was my shop one. But I am trying to, I tried to copy the apps in the same layout so because I, I do carry both of these phones. And that's another thing. I put these in my pocket and I'm, I'm afraid to scratch, not this one, but this one. But I guess it hasn't scratched. But one of the features that I really missed and I didn't know this had it until my nephew Jaden told me that he watched a TikTok video and somebody said something about it. So something I kept teasing my wife about was like, man, the iPhone doesn't have this function where you double tap it. The, the side button and it opens the camera right away. You know, doesn't matter where you are. It could be a locked screen. You see that? So I'm gonna double tap it on a locked screen and it gives you the camera, boom, right away. So now people say, well, you have the button right here. Well, that's cool, all right, I guess. But see, I have to do this first, wake it up, then that. I guess it's the same, but I'm used to just going straight to that. Now again, my nephew told me to go into settings. There's a function where you can double tap or triple tap the back. I guess in TikTok they say you can tap the Apple, but it's just the whole back. And if you go to settings, accessibility, you go to touch, and scroll down to back tap, you see? it's I turned it on, double or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to perform activities quickly. Of course, I set it up to the camera. I haven't set up a triple tap, but here we go. Let's do the double tap. Let's do that. See, it doesn't really work as good, you know, So, but it's it does work, so here we go. There it is. It opens up the camera. Let's do it again. See, that was pretty cool, but again, it doesn't work from here, so. You see, I wish it worked from here, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, let me see if it works from here, it w w unlocked. Nope, see, oh yeah, it does work. Let's see if it works while it's locked. Yeah, it does, okay. So that's cool too, um, however, it still doesn't work from the black screen. Okay, again, it's a hit or miss a little bit. You kind of have to really get it. But anyways, that was pretty cool. That kind of made me feel a little bit better about it. So one more thing that, um, there's two more things that really have uh, bothered me a little bit. Everything else has been great. But like when I go to like open new tabs and stuff, I don't know, they're kind of, it's kind of weird. I don't like that layout. Now they do have it where you can change it to tap bar in the settings. And so, you know, you can scroll, you can scroll the tabs, but you can't close a tab from there. So, um, I guess you have to go like this, you know, but it'd be nice if you could, 
I don't know if you can actually just close the tab from right right in here you know I mean this is pretty cool I'm not gonna lie but again if I want to close it I have to go and find it where did it go it went all the way up here you know that kind of stuff I like this layout here see just smooth sailing you see that just boom you want the tab you want you want to close it out you just close it and this one is like uh, okay what am I looking at um, it's kind of hard to see it um, you see this is like much easier for me and this is like okay what, which one am I looking at okay here it is alright but that's that's it you know you can still swipe out of it just like this so that's cool you know all right, and then the third thing that really got me is it doesn't have a clipboard. Like you can copy and paste one thing at a time, but you don't have a clipboard um, nowhere, anywhere in here. There's no clipboard. You have notes is what my wife said. Uh, you can add notes there, but mm, no, I want quicker access to things. And and with the, with the iPhone, I mean, sorry, with the Samsung, you can just hold. You go to clipboard and you see all your recent copied things you know so all the copy and you just click on it and it pastes it wherever you want here you can only paste or you can see that it doesn't even remember what the last thing I copied so that's one thing that I was like man I wish it had it but other than that guys I'm gonna continue to use it without a case if you guys have any questions leave me a comment asking about the differences or anything else you guys want to know about the iPhone in general or the iPhone 13 Pro in particular. Now, I have been messing around with the, is it called LiDAR, LiDAR or LiDAR? I think it's LiDAR, the LiDAR sensor. I downloaded this app. Oh, one more thing I wanted to touch, um, WhatsApp. You know, I have Android. So going from Android to iPhone, you cannot restore a Google backup. See, you get WhatsApp on Android, you back it up to your Google Drive, and you can restore it to another WhatsApp, but it must be Android. For iPhone, oh man, I couldn't do it. It just doesn't accept any back, uh, restores from Google. It has to be an iCloud backup. So if you have iPhone and you have a WhatsApp, you can back it up to iCloud and then restore it on another iPhone. But if you have Samsung or Android and you have a backup, you cannot restore it to iPhone, which, oh my goodness, I almost really almost sold the phone. I was like, that's it. I need my WhatsApp messages. I have a lot of stuff in there that I need. And uh, I had to pay a company because there's a, there's all these companies that offer the transfer, but you have to pay them. And I will leave their link in the description. There's different companies. Some have a subscription base one month. Some, some are yearly. Um, I got the yearly one. And uh, you have access to it for a whole year and then it renews, but you know. Anyways, I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out if you're trying to go from Android to iPhone and you don't want to lose your WhatsApp. Um, if you guys want me to leave a video on how to do that, I'll gladly do it. Just go ahead and leave a comment. Going back to what I was talking about, I downloaded this app here. Uh, it's called, uh, where is it at? ARVID. And it's really cool. Um, let me show you guys. Um, so basically you can, you can do like 3D stuff, you know, like, let me see if I can show you guys here. See, I'm going to place a dinosaur right there and I'm going to make them smaller. Yeah, you see, can you see that dinosaur right there? Make it smaller. There it is. I'm going to turn up the volume. See, and it's kind of hard at this angle here, but um, just to get you guys an idea, see that? And you can control it and stuff. You can record. You can make it walk towards me. You see that? And if I go towards it, you know, it stays there and it gets closer. Oh, and you can make it do things. See, I'm going to shoot it. And now it's dead. <laughs> but yeah, I've been having fun with this. I did one. This thing is in the way. Well, that kind of killed it right there that I brought it in, but it's okay. You get the idea. Now he's peeing. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, so my wife's like, dude, take a break from that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that was the one week update on the iPhone, uh, going from Android to iPhone. And the quick review of a 13 Pro. If you guys like this video, please share it. Please like it. Subscribe. Again, if you guys want to join our team, I, I, I really encourage you guys to do so. We have big things going on this year. And I want you guys to be part of it. So the more I learn, the more you guys learn in our group. So go to 91gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training. Get that five-day curriculum. If you already know everything about phones, great. If you don't, even better. But just joining our team makes you that much bigger because you're now part of a bigger group, a bigger team that helps each other out with no knocking on anybody. Like we, uh, we really help each other. Okay. So we care about each other. We, we invest in ourselves and we share knowledge. So uh, I'll see you guys in that group. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.